A viral clip of Minnesota fighting Vikings wide receiver B.C. Johnson giving free agent cornerback Patrick freaking Peterson the business emerged from day one of phase three OTAs on Monday. But investigation time. Did Ola B.C. really burn P squared? So let's watch in real time all together now. Nice little route. 22 yard comeback. Foot in the dirt. Woo! Nice job by B.C. So a couple things. OTAs phase three. No contact, zero, none. No press coverage allowed either. I think you usually have to be seven to 10 yards off of the wide receiver. So that certainly doesn't help Patrick Peterson. Helmets, but no pads. And yeah, they're wearing the, the rugby adjacent type skull caps, which are actually pretty sweet, by the way. It's awesome. And also, it's one on ones. So there's no safety help. And we stated that Patrick Peterson is simply not the lockdown cornerback was that he was uh, that he was five, seven years ago, right? That's why he was a free agent. That's why the Vikings got for eight million bucks. He's not that shutdown, set it and forget it, belt buckle to belt buckle against wide receiver one, cornerback one anymore. And that's what got Arizona in trouble last year is that Vance Joseph and the Cardinals just trotted him out there. It's like, oh, he can cover DK Metcalf 101. But nah, he's still a very solid cornerback too, does need some safety shade. And I think that if Zimmer puts the ego aside, Patrick Peterson also puts the ego aside, I think they can integrate him and be a solid uh, cornerback for the next couple years for the Vikes. And it does look like it's a go, no-go drill. Basically, you either have a nine route or you have a comeback or a hitch. And then you play off that. And Peterson from the start isn't even in frame but he's probably 10 yards off the ball which shades of trey wayne's back in the day but this is fine at ota and it's probably mandatory and then automatically turns back uh is playing the nine route and then half speed sort of flips the hips and then breaking on the comeback now a couple things here a couple things here we need to be honest about number one in a real game i think patrick peterson breaks this thing up because i mean look at this slow break but Half speed break, but yeah, if this is a game, diving, that's a PBU. It happens. And number two, veterans and OTAs, uh, especially the first OTA of the phase, I, you don't always go full speed. And to be honest, I don't want them to either because even though they've obviously been putting in work in the offseason, just getting back on the practice field, competitive juice is flowing, adrenaline is going. I don't want someone to pop a muscle. I, I, I don't want someone to pull a hamstring or pop anything or just do anything. No, so, Ease your way back in. That's what OTAs are for, man. That's what training camp is for. Like every single day doesn't have to be the Alamo. Now, I, I do like that uh, perspective. I, I do like that uh, mental focus, but yeah, it, it's fine. It, it, it's fine. And if Patrick Peterson went balls out on this play and then, you know, popped a hip or uh, popped a calf or did something, we'd be pissed at that. All right, so I'm perfectly fine with this. And also, how about more props to BC Johnson, by the way? That's a hell of a route. But ooh, 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 ooh. By the way, BC has not been skipping leg day. Look at that. Plus, I respect the short shorts. That, that's one of the really good things that Stephon Diggs uh, proliferated here with the Vikings, that the short, short movement is back, baby. But yeah, BC, ooh, look at those stems, man. Probably squatting 600, pride of Colorado State. Get down, man. So yeah, how about more props to BC? Because all the talking points have been like, oh, uh, uh, Patrick Pearson got burned by Ole Miss Johnson. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I would love to see BC get into the wide receiver three competition with BB and ISM and whatnot in year three. So, uh, so no. A one clip on the gram in a one-on-one -on -one drill in OTAs with no contact, with no press coverage, with no help over the top. No, this is this does not mean that Patrick Peterson is washed AF and does not mean that the Vikings wasted eight million bucks. Now, if it gets to week one and Jamar Chase puts Patrick Peterson on skates a dozen times uh, in Cincinnati, then we can worry. Also, I would be worried if Patrick Peterson is left one-on-one -on -one against Jamar Chase. That's just not his role anymore. Zimmer needs to know that. Plus, Cameron Tiny Dantzler, go back and look at the tape. 2019, Dantzler, Mississippi State against Jamar Chase. Ooh, lock down. Hmm. Can't wait, man. Uh, but your thoughts on our thoughts. Did BC really burn Patrick Peterson? No. An investigation. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.